Adriel in Gurbani refers to Azrael, the angel or messenger of death. In the Abrahamic faiths, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, Azrael is actually known as Malak al Maut in the Quran. So it's a very interesting reference because it's really referencing words from Christian and Jewish scriptures. ongoing relationship being depicted in Gurbani between people and Azrael. Gurnanak Saib says, Mam Sarmui Azrael Garefte Dilahit Chanadani Rahal. Azrael has grabbed me by the ends of my hair. Oh mind, you know nothing. And when the other gurus also write about Azrael, this is the the common theme, that Azrael is always around, but we never know. And it's not because we're ignorant. It's because we don't want to know. We don't want to accept that reality. And what Gurbani tries to show us is that Azrael is not your enemy. It's not necessarily a sad or negative reference that Azrael is there. It is up to you to accept that reality or not. And that has a lot to do with understanding ego and trying to eradicate ego from the way we interact with the world. It's very important to see how Azrael creates a vivid image for those who follow Abrahamic scripture. It's one thing to talk about death, which in a general way, because that can often become abstract or far away, because again, as humans, we're not very good at accepting that reality. But it's another thing to bring in a known representation of death. And I think it makes people listen and really pay attention. Now, Azrael is supposed to, in the Abrahamic faiths, transport souls upon their death. The Sikh paradigm doesn't have reference to souls or to heaven or hell in these Abrahamic contexts in those ways. But this image is still brought in because we're trying to show people how to, how to accept their relationship with the reality of Ikonkar and whatever image connects you with that is a valid one. And by bringing Azrael up again and again in Gurbani, again, that relationship with who that is and what ideas being represented there can be transformed. So it's no longer about souls. It's no longer about a fear of heaven or hell. It's actually, again, a love-based relationship. And that once we really live through love and ikonkar and connectedness, we no longer have that fear of this reality that's always around.